Okay, welcome to the stream, guys. Just uh, showing out a couple of links here. Just give me uh, a hot minute. Okay, Aquila, Memet, TG, Zerf, Tim, G. Welcome to the stream, guys. How was your week? How's everyone's week been? Hope you're looking forward to a little bit of Sunday chill. Rahil and Josh, welcome to the stream, boys. How are you? How are you? Yeah, cute little build last time out. Works on a, a very dense, rich commercial waterfront. Uh, however, I am very unhappy with this part of the build here. Um, so I'm going to rip all of this out today. <laughs> and, uh, and redesign it. And we also want to rework the bridge here as well. Because the traffic is backing up with the train crossing. So we need to sort that out as well. So yeah, we'll have a little bit of chill today. A little bit of redesigning. And uh, we'll see what we can do. But either way, hope everyone's had uh, a wonderful week. And I was looking forward to a little bit of Sunday stream action. Big lands and Jane and sunken ship. Welcome to stream, guys. Okay, mass deletion. Am I good? Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. I'm alright. <laughs> I am uh, extremely tired this week after the absolute grind that was getting the 5B videos out. Uh, but it's all done now. At least another four weeks anyway. But uh, getting that save file back from Lee was a little bit too late for three episodes. But we managed it. We managed it. Yeah, okay, let's get rid of the trees as well. Let's uh, actually pause our game here as well, because this will damage the downtown if we let the game run. Hey, our day, Mary. Dingoes, welcome to the stream, guys. Early bird this evening? Yeah, a little bit early. A little bit early. I was just uh, ready to go. Oh, I just deleted the canal. Oh, no, I deleted a key. <laughs> no. Oh, I deleted a key. Oh, that's going to be a ball late to get back in, man. Right, let's not do that again. Let's be very careful. Just found your channel recently. Pretty good stuff. Thank you, Mary. I do appreciate you checking out the videos. It's even better when you like them as well, right? Hey, Alex. Welcome to stream, mate. DM as well. Okay. So, yeah, let's get rid of all this as well. Oh, this needs to go. I kind of, I watched the video back when it uploaded, and I was just like, I actually really hate this area. So, we're going to redo it a little nicer today. Hopefully focus in a few more organic looking green cities patterns around this content creator metro. And then this as well. And then I think this should be good. Let's take this road out too. Cool. This will be fine. Bad B1C, holy cow, Imperator's airport, wasn't it amazing? <laughs> It was amazing. I love that airport. I just love Imperator, to be fair. He, he, he could build anything, I'd be like, wow. <laughs> amazing. Love it. Okay, so... I kind of think I want the... Maybe let's come off this guideline here. Okay, so I want the metro station to... kind of face into the downtown. We'll work with some shifted angles here. All right, and then if we are going to bring out a smaller road down here as well, let's just make sure we can still accommodate that in. Yes, we can, and we can bring these in as well. And then hopefully just start to hook the road network into the existing infrastructure around it. Okay. Cool. You're going to put the 2042 tower in the open spot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're clearing it all out, Josh, making room for it. Oh, that asset's hideous. Um, don't port that in Palavan ever again. <laughs> destroying, destroying the legacy of Palavan. Okay, so there's a lot of little mini micro districts around here. We want to create a new one now. So let's get rid of all these. And then I guess we'll just go from here. So we might make this green cities, we might make it regular high density residential, but I think it definitely wants reworking from what it was. Okay, let's bring this back down now as well. Uh, we should probably sort this. I guess because we're already in a bridge, it would make sense just to carry the bridge on and slightly lower the rail. Uh, can I request that you make the video the next video longer? Miss 30 to minute videos. Yeah, I've already had the feedback, Alex. Um, you guys want longer videos, so... Uh, yeah, we can. I can leave more footage in and whatnot. If you guys like longer videos, then we can do that. Okay, let's clear a bit of this out. 
it's taken up quite a bit of room this rail actually. Let's see if we can reduce the amount of space it's taken up as well. Hey Stuart, welcome to the stream, buddy. Stuart, <laughs> Stuart, <laughs> welcome to the stream, mate. Sorry for butchering your name. All right, cool. Now let's grab our what are we using here? This is just regular arterial bridge, isn't it? Let's come off our road length as well. Okay, delete this. Might have to elevate this a little bit further. We'll see how the rail gets on underneath. Might be a little bit of flooding here as well, but just uh, bear with me. We'll do it together. We've got 44 people here already. Hope everyone's had a, a nice week and looking forward to our usual Sunday stream fun. Right, so this should be a challenge. Let's terraform this out up to the key. Okay, and then we'll... Give ourselves as much breathing room as possible. This will help us develop some more transport supplies here today as well. Let's go onto our slope tool. Alright. This should be okay. We'll see. We will see. It's going to lower its elevation and it should be fine. Just going straight under. Nice. Thought that would be. A lot more work than it was. Makes my life a lot easier. Five bucks says the ditch will overflow before long. I think you might have to eat your own words, Jane. I think we're going to be all right. Oh dear. No, we're not. This needs terraforming a little bit more out into this direction. Wonderful. Okay, so that should clear up a lot of the issue there. Oh. Nope, Jane was right. <laughs> <laughs> Jim was right. Oh no, was she? A tiny, tiny bit of flooding. I don't know if you can really call that a flood. Okay. Should keep it coming a lot cleaner now. Right, let's get the metro tunnels hooked in as well, of course. Let's uh, take away a little bit of this. Should actually make it easier to hook this line into minor square now as well. Uh, let's just come out on our straight road tool. Nice. And then over here as well. Super. Let's go ahead and get our platforms back in. Or stops, rather. Hey, fruit guy. Welcome to the stream, mate. How are you? We'll drag this one over to that station, actually. Let's stop here. Is it giving me grief? You're going to snap back in eventually? Um, we might as well, actually, while we're redoing this metro line, um, Have a metro stop over here near the Central Park. I think we'll just drop in a regular one right now, and then when we come to redesign this area, we know that we have metro underground, and we'll probably include one of the more impressive looking uh, content creator stations. Move this one over. Where's the last stop gun now? This is so confusing. There it is. Can't even remember my own metro line. And then... Yeah, come down here. That's fine. And then you also. Cool. And then we'll add stops into here. And then into the new Green City Station as well. Fantastic. Cool. Okay. So we've also got a whole bunch of little services out here as well that could probably do with being redesigned and maybe up against this road now. 
So let's do that as well. Let's take away all this commercial. And the park. So we're losing an elementary school, a gymnasium, and a high school. Let's not forget to bring those assets back in. And then remove this road as well. And we can probably do something a little bit more impressive with uh, the rail here. Now we've kind of redrawn that in as well. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. How's it going, Eggs? It's been a while since I've been in the stream. Hey, King Dre. Uh, not too bad, mate. How are you? Uh, welcome back to the streams. Hope all is well. Okay. Come back onto our road guideline. Should move the zone in as well. And this road too. So I don't actually want to connect into the arterial here. We're just using an excuse to get some road against road action in, of course. Okay, so if we place the high school facing out, and then let's see what we can do with the gymnasium. Well, actually, it probably would be a better idea to move them around. Have you ever tried City Skylands on console? Uh, yes, I have, Dre. Um, didn't like it. I think there's certain genres of game that are meant to be played with a mouse and keyboard, and simulation is one of them. Yeah, I can't. Can't do it on controller. <laughs> it's just there. Uh, just feels really unnatural. No offense to any console players, though. As long as you're enjoying the game, that's what's important, right? Um. Okay. Shift the angle of the gymnasium. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. You play City Skylines with a trackpad, Rich. Seriously. <laughs> really? Like the little red dot in the middle of the keyboard on the old laptops. Are you actually playing City Skylines with that? How? <laughs> How is that even possible? Not even sure. Okay. Let's come on to our road guideline with this road as well. There we go. Okay. So we'll try to tie this up a little bit. Bring a road behind as well. Box our high school in. We also lost the small park. It's a large playground, isn't it? Let's uh, drop this in over here, maybe. Let's get rid of these traffic lights on the main road as well. Just, uh, just go straight through. Very good. Hey, if you can do, Victor, welcome to the stream, guys. Okay. Not the little red thing. It's a decent sized pad. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, the little the little finger pad. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um. Yeah, I was thinking of like the old school little red dots that used to sit in the keyboard. I was like, how on earth <laughs> are you playing with that? But yeah, I get it. I really wish these Metro stops would go away. Come on game, please read. Please read what's happening. Are our Metro's even coming through here? What is it with the line? I'm just going to have to redraw this metro line and it doesn't want to clip back into where it should be going. Yeah. Yeah, I think I am, aren't I? Okay, let me just redraw this in because this is giving me grief. Um, guess who needs to name their metro lines? Me. <laughs> so I don't know which one it is. Is it this one? It is red. Um, yes, it is this one. Okay, let's draw it back in. And then it comes down here. Here. Let's 
Got 86 people here. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hope you've all had a wonderful week. Cool. There we go. Let's grab the colour again as it comes out of nowhere, yeah? It's actually going to start here. There he goes. Okay. And now let's go for a nice little orange colour. I think that'll be okay, right? Hey, Badge, JJ. Welcome to stream, guys. Okay, so, back to this. So we did have tourism and nightlife around here, so I'm keen to maintain a little bit of commercial, and I think nightlife is probably going to be um, the most appropriate. So why don't we have a little look at introducing some micro districts using some road against road action um, around these modern city centre ones. So we'll deem this as our first kind of micro district, right? So uh, cut it in half. And then redraw our new one here. Let's bring it up to there as well. <laughs> Viva Ronaldo. I was wondering how long it would be before some Ronaldo fans turned up. Yes, Viva Ronaldo indeed. What a wonderful weekend it's been to be a United fan, everyone. Okay, so let's get some 4x4 four four badges here. Okay, do Max CS users have access to most mods? Um, yeah, they do, but I think it's a little bit weird to install mods on the Mac, isn't it? Yeah, we do have a few Mac players in the community, so one of them might be able to advise if you're looking for help. Let's just come on to our angle here. Really? You're... Are you too close there? Okay, we won't do any path action then. Just do some fences. Maybe come in with a little bit of vanilla just so there is a, a bridge gap over. And I think we'll just snap in with maybe some amusement park fence. Maybe some, maybe some farm. Let's see how farm works with this very heavy commercial vibe. Mm. Not really a massive lover of that, to be honest. I don't think it even wants fence, does it? No, it doesn't. For once, <laughs> the first time in like two and a half years of making YouTube videos, it doesn't want fencing. Um, how about some hedges? Let's use the prop line tool to get these boys in. Uh, Hopefully, I usually like to place these by hand because prop line tool is a little bit weird with them. It kind of throws them off once they go down. So maybe a little collection of hedges and then we can do um, a little repeated tree pattern around them. Can't really see them in the snow, they're just kind of blocks. <laughs> There's no real, no real colour to them. Alright, let's give it a line of hedges though. We'll see what we can do with that. See if the uh, the vibe develops on us. Um, it's coming with maybe some repeated bush spice as well. Mehmet Alibariskin with a 50 try super sticker and it's the fox painting number one. Thank you so much Mehmet. Really appreciate that support buddy. Uh, and the kind gesture as well. Oh god, I miss being in by B1C now. It was so nice to be back in a green map. It really was. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, so much colour. Got all these trees. Wonderful. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of an asset repetition. Um, let's maybe dive into Plot the Grow Balls and have a look what we're missing out on in the Nightlife tab. Because this is all pretty heavy 4x4 four four zoning, so I think we'll shatter one of these and then change its size. And then delete this as well. Okay, let's wait for this commercial to come in. And we've probably lost a lot of worker demand here, actually, because... Oh, this one hasn't bloody saved. Let's just place it in again manually. Uh, this one. There we go. Yeah, because we lost a lot of residentials, so... We definitely want to get that residential zoning back in before we kind of move on to... Letting the game play a little bit. 
So what's the noise pollution like coming out of this metro station? Fairly quiet. There's nothing serious there, really. Uh, let's come off our grid and onto road length as well. So I want shattered zone in here. Let's also bring these down as well. Okay. And then make sure that our district is encompassing the new road design. Let's go for a little bit of green cities. And then let's just kind of mass zone these blocks and let some random green cities patterns develop all around this metro. We'll do the same here again as well. Get some parks in here too. Uh, only certain shattered zonings though, maybe no... Oh, it's green cities, two by two will be fine. Same here again as well. Over here too. Do any of the higher level modern city centre make nice 4x4 four four blocks? Uh, yes, they do. Um, is it these ones? Yeah, these ones here are alright. These ones are nice. Uh, for those that follow Palavin in Eurovin, the little block of commercial next to the transport hub in that part of the map had a whole bunch of these mixed and matched. It looked really good. But yeah, you don't have to just stick to the level 1. But they work nicely as well. Okay. Sorry for asking, but where are we in Navaria? I have so much to catch up on. Uh, we are in the downtown, DJ. In which if you have a lot to catch up on, you probably haven't seen any of this. So, yeah. And um, there's the rest of the city. And we now have a downtown now. Okay. So, so let's grow up. Let's pop ourselves on three speed. And then see what we think. So I definitely want some larger shapes to grow over this way. Maybe... Some little rows of 2x2s here as well. Or 2x3s depending on what grows. Bring our district out. Cool. Okay, so again, where we're getting this asset repetition, we'll just delete one asset and then trim it up. Okay. For once, I am very... Oh, look at that new skyscraper that's come in. Very nice. I like that height, actually. That's uh, historical, that. So it doesn't grow up again. There we go. Very nice. Yes, I can't wait to see the downtown. No spoilers, please. <laughs> Might be kind of hard, DJ. We are working on the downtown today. Okay. So let's bring some Portland in here. I think maybe a small little, small park would work nicely to integrate into the area. So that brings some pathways outside of this and also introducing some like, regular commercial zoning in and around here too. Okay. This fence wants redrawing too. Now that the train ditch has moved, probably about up to there should be okay. Got 111 people here. Welcome to the stream, guys. Do appreciate you turning up for the Sunday stream. Got a fat angle snap here as well. I was in City Planner's stream the other day actually, um, when I was up finishing the Five Builders video off, because he streams at like midnight his time, which is like 6am for me. And he was, um, he had like 900 people in there. <laughs> I was like, how is he talking to all these people at once? Crazy. Hey Topman, welcome to the stream. I think some more commercial around here, okay. Or maybe not, actually. Let's maybe run with some high density res. Not green cities, though. Yeah, we're getting some worker demands now, so we'll hopefully start to see these satisfied with an organic green cities pattern, which I'm not hating. I 
I think it's okay, right? These aren't nice in this area. I don't want these little kind of flatty roof things. Let's get rid of those. Does the area around the metro want a unique? Um, a unique possibly could fit here, yeah. Let's have a look what's available. Meteorite part, maybe. Could work here. Kind of looks a little weird just on a road, though. Mm. Don't know. Thoughts and feelings on uniques. Oh, actually, do you know what? Yeah, the city arch increases tourist capacity. Maybe this would be a good spot to use the city arch in. Kind of running down this river. Egg, use the city arch somewhere? Yes, Seth. <laughs> Great minds, mate. Great minds. Yeah, how about the city arch on this arterial? Maybe as we come into the area. Down here. Increases the roads by 5%, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely not the meteorite park here. Um, there's also the media broadcast building. This would probably work really nicely up against the modern city centre commercial. Media broadcast building's not a bad shout. Yeah, a lot of these are very specifically kind of modular build themed. Like the expo centers and stuff and science centers, probably save them for the airport or something. Tax office will be used as some kind of smaller town center build, I imagine. There's also the clock tower as well we've not, not used yet. No. That's like too old school for what is fairly modern designs around here. Okay, I think what we'll do is give our media broadcast building a little bit of a green border, or white border in this case. And then maybe start to include some unspecified regular high density commercial around it. We'll work with some ideas. Let's just get some things zoning up. Do you want to be wary of noise pollution though? Yeah, encroaching a little bit here. Let's rework this instead. Okay, let's let a little bit of that grow up. It might just want zoning with high density commercial. We'll see what it looks like. Don't mind these sorts of ones. These are alright. Yeah, I kind of don't mind just regular high density commercial. I think. <laughs> I don't think I mind it anyway. Um, high tech buildings has two or three buildings for this, if I remember correctly. What in the uniques? I'm saving all of these for like a new, like a, a research facility on the mountain. Television station, though. Now this would work here. Yeah, maybe television station partner with the media broadcast. Maybe. Let's move this over. Will it fit here? Oh yes, please, it will as well. 
Is that what we want? Which is taller, the broadcast or the television station? Media broadcast building's larger. Okay. I think we turn it into like a dedicated media area though, rather than including commercial around here. Let's move the television station right next to the metro. And then allow some of this park green belt to flow around the edge of it. Can we come out here? Oh, yes, we can. Nice. Maybe a splash of commercial out here as well. Okay. How many people are using this station? 139. Not too bad. It's all right. Which is taller, the 2042 tower, yeah. <laughs> Massive skyscraper. Okay. Are you nightlife? Yes, you are. I don't think I've ever seen that asset before. Um, how about some of the snowy stuff around here as well? A little skating rink. huge. Okay. Concert? Mm, no, probably not the concert park here. Yeah, it's, it's noise radius is way too loud. We would have to remove so much residential from this area to get the, the concert area in. Okay, what's losing power? Oh, a crematorium, that's fine. Okay. Just iron it up. That kind of works nicely next to the television centre actually in that spot, so we'll, we'll keep that going. Then can we repeat the park pattern, I wonder? No. Let's keep everyone walking around here as well. I think it wants some trees too. Maybe a couple of really light splashes with the Novarian forest. Let's bring this down a touch. Down here as well. It's maybe a little bit too low. Try that instead. And then how about just like a little little corner shop next to the station out here as well. I think actually we use Pot the Growables to get these in because I know I want the university pack assets in um, from the lower density commercial. Uh, can I just search for them? Yes, I can. Yeah, so like these ones here. Would a Japanese content creator office work well in the media area? Do we have any left? I don't think we do. I think they're all in the skyline, aren't they? There's this one here. Which... Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, th th this would work in the area, actually. Hmm... What does this look like? Um, let me find somewhere to place this. This would make sense to be in the commercial area as well, but it's like a big district shopping centre. Yeah, we can get this to fit. Let's take away the path asset. Or the park asset rather, not the path asset. So we can get it in there, but does it destroy the crawling height? Because it's taller than the television station. Yes, it is. Okay, can we switch them around? This is going to cost a fortune, man. <laughs> this is so expensive. <laughs> Moving them all around like this. It's 
So we can squeeze it in here and we'll just need to find um, another road connection. Well, they do already have one. They have one here, but maybe hook it in there as well uh, for the nightlife area. And then reinstate the television station on this corner. How close can we get it? Is this still big enough for that small part to come back in? No. Okay, that's fine then. Let's put this on the corner. Use the one-sided metro and put the Japan one opposite side. Uh, which one-sided metro? Which station is it? This one. That's not a bad shout, Mehmet. Yeah, let's do that. I have to redraw in that metro line. <laughs> I'm going to be fuming. Hopefully we don't have to. Hopefully it's okay. Are we happy? Yes, we are. Okay, let's bring this over. Space already occupied? Yes, it is. That's fine. Okay, so this gives us an entirely new vibe with a very open, open-ended plaza. This is a two-platform, isn't it? Oh no, it's just a bypass. Okay, we can maybe start another line out of this then and take it off somewhere else in the future. Uh, good shot, my mate. Thank you for the idea, mate. Okay. How's the noise pollution doing now? Yeah, we're so good for high density. We'll be alright, yep. Yeah. Alright. So we can bring this road back in now. It's a difficult one, this. I think we'll have that over there. And then if we can leave a tile to develop some little pathways behind here as well. Then we can bring the part back in too. Yeah, we can EMB. That's a good shout, actually. Come on, there is a sweet spot. I know there is. There we go. Wonderful. Also bring it down here as well, make a little... A little park garden, shall we? Off that angle snap. Station department store is a long walk with Chungus. It really is. It really is. I think it, it sat in the legal district in Palavan. So it just kind of melded into the skyline. It wasn't too much of a awkward beast to place. Okay. Could put an ice rink in centre with a TV station. Yes, we could. Not enough goods to sell. What are we even like for outside connections? Wow. <laughs> yes, we need we need some generic industry in Novaria. We import everything. That's so bad. What do we export? Forestry, agriculture, a lot of oil. Okay, yeah. We are... Uh, We'll want to address that at some point soon. Uh, where is the skating rink? Can I get away with dirt roads and almost try and use the excuse that they are actually pathways? I wonder. I wonder if we can do that. Let's continue to bring our little walkable media belt behind all the assets. Okay, down here as well. Maybe another one of these snowy assets too. Can we move this over? We can if we bring another little dirt road out. Just bear with me guys, right? Just, just bear with me. 
I think we can get this to look how we want. No. I don't really want to lose my pathway. <laughs> I don't want to lose it. Um, if everything was a tile down, we would be fine. All right, we're just going to lose it. We're just going to lose it. It's fine. Let's connect that park in as well. And then we'll have a look at the nighttime view here as well. Okay. No, we don't need this anymore. Actually wonder. Can we do it this side instead? Looks like there still won't be enough room for the park, but we'll see. Yeah, it's too close. And we can still make it function though, because if we have the road here instead, which I don't think I mind the dirt road, it's quite bold to use it in a downtown setting, I think, but we can still get it to work. Let's come on with our straight vanilla pavement path. Look into here. Okay, and then they can get around this way. See you later, Zeph. Thank you for showing up for the stream, buddy. We do appreciate it. we got 135 people here. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the stream. Okay, night time. It's all very dark, isn't it? I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> it is night time. I am squinting at the screen, everyone. I do like the kind of open air vibe about it as it kind of comes into all these media buildings. The back of the department store is very, very dark, isn't it? Has zero illumination. Okay, bring some pathways around the metro too. We need a coven behind the mall. Yes, we do. Yeah, we'll do um, perhaps a media coven today. Or coven. Won't let DM catch me pronouncing that wrong again. Okay. Should be quite easy to border with uh, pathways, actually. We can't come through, but we can do it for the aesthetic appeal, right? Like that. Let's take out this zone as well. Okay. Add some ground lights. Yeah, that's not a bad shout, actually. Um, if maybe we run some part life lights through there as well let's just throw them on prop line tool not that many though it's got by 10. that should be all right is it coven or coven it's coven i just can't speak english so don't listen to me it is it is pronounced coven but when my eyes see it i'm like oh coven yeah that's a bit better cheers exe good shot mate yeah just so the back of the building's a little bit illuminated. And that, how much better does that look? That was way too much of a, a repeated pattern with the old Green City stuff that we did in the episode. That That is so much more complimentary to the crawling height now, to the skyline. Yeah, like that. Much better. All right, let's bring this back as well. Okay. Oh, cute. Yes, of course. They will actually use the pathways because they come out from all different directions, don't they? Okay, that does give them use then. Yes, please. Let's bring everyone down. 
Yeah, okay. Um, let's do a coven. Let's come into our props. Is there any, like, media-themed props? I'm not sure if there is. We'll find out. Okay. Egg with his Scouse accent butchers every word. That's pretty worthy of a timeout exit. This is a super busy station. Do we need more trains here? Um... Yeah, probably do with another couple of trains. Super, super busy stations. We've got the one at Milet Square. Yeah, okay. Let's maybe throw on two more trains. That's, um... Should hopefully alleviate a little bit of the pressure off the line. Jay Rayner with a 35 Zar super sticker, and it's the lemon and the lime. Uh, just waving to me. Thank you so much, Rainer. Really appreciate the support. And uh, wave back to you as well. All right. Um, okay, Coven. Coven. <laughs> Whichever one. All right, let's get it behind the media. They could just be out, out the back having a fag break. Like, they actually work for the media broadcast company itself. Like, let's... Maybe they're working on a new film, like... Snowman 4, The Return of the, of the Thor. Or the... <laughs> or the... The Defrosting, the new feature film. <laughs> so stupid. Alright. Um, I'm not really sure what assets to include around them. There's no media, is there? Maybe get a billboard, but I can't place it properly without move it. Um, okay, I think I've got an idea here. Um, let's come into industrial props. Let's grab one of these little barriers. So it's like a... Like an exclusive entrance into the media building. Maybe this is where like celebrities arrive, if they're doing interviews and stuff. Um, then that's it for industrial props, and then we'll give them some fencing, probably, probably forestry. Yeah. Mm, no. Oh. Oh, it'll be better. Okay. Hey Tess, welcome to the stream. Ditch D and D. Good. Welcome to the dark side. Okay. Working on Frozen 3, The Godfather. <laughs> yeah, there's not that many props that are really jumping out for this one, really. Um... Maybe we just give them a bin. So they're just like executive snowmen that are just smoking a cigarette out of the back. Come like a little ashtray. Alright. Maybe a little bit of a tree line around here as well. And I think probably some repeated sugar maple spice would be most appropriate. It was a not sugar maples. Let's try it again. Boom. And then we'll manipulate the next one. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Not that it actually matters, <laughs> but whatever. Oh, DJ with a 20 US dollar super sticker, and it is the lemon bowing in front of a rose bush. Thank you so much, DJ. That's very generous of you. Really appreciate the support, lovely. I right, hope you enjoy catching up on the various soon. Okay, so let's come back into these university assets. So I want some of the little fast food looking ones around here as well. Like the Fry Guys and the Delta Queen. And can we bring Pathway through here? Is this getting too pathy? No, it's not. It's perfect. 
Wonderful. See, this is where you want surface paint, right? Just to fill in these little white bits. How many covens are we up to now, anyway? Um, I'm not sure. Should we go and revisit them all? Got 134 people here. Thank you so much for showing up for the stream, guys. Um, the first one is in the garden. So there's one. There's one there. Then the next one is just here, isn't it? Yeah. The creepy fire one is there. Then we've got one near Karina Marina. Yeah, there's one here. <laughs> These are the, the snowmobiles. What about that? And then over in the university, there's one under the bridge, isn't there? Yeah, there's these like seedy looking dudes under here. There's one there. And then there's another one in the central park here. And then I think that's it. We didn't do one in the central park, did we? No. There's none in the downtown, apart from that one. Mountain top. It's not really a coven though, that one is it? It's just uh, him by himself. God, that's so white, Christ. <laughs> Actually blinding up on that mountain top. Okay, so how have these high density residentials turned out? Absolutely horrifically. So I think we'll go into Plot the Globals and grab a something three repeated pattern. With the high densities. I don't mind these ones. They're a little bit. I don't think they're too run down looking. I think maybe we want something a little more higher end. Maybe something like this. Yes, those. Those. We'll have these instead. Let's get three in here. One, two, and three. What level are these? Level one. So fairly easy to recreate. A little burst of colour as well using those assets. Let's bring this pathway down too, it's going to make sense. Uh, all the way up to there. Cool. Do I ever use the level 1, 2x2 two two little high density res apartments? Um, these ones, the slums. Yeah, we've we've used the slums a lot before. Uh, not in Navari yet. We haven't generated a slum area. There's these ones as well, which just have quite a nice slum vibe to them. Um, but no, uh, we use these in Palavan. I've not used them in Navari yet, but we will. We will. Okay, I'm much happier with that crawling height up to the skyline now. That blends in tremendously well. You might have grown a little too tall for my liking, but we'll... It was already hit level 5 anyway. Can we rename the snowmen? No, because they're props, you can't click on them. If they were assets, we could, but not with props. And then let's just hook this back into the road now. Extend our little playground. Okay. Get into a few places. And then we can probably develop some nicer looking uh, green belt off the back of this too. Let's continue to bring our little apartments in. That looks too bad. Yeah, it's alright. It's okay. Okay, let's uh, pop on the nighttime view while I have a little drink. But yeah. Much, much nicer crawling height now. Definitely glad we, we uh, reworked that. <clears throat> okay. Traffic's still backing up a little bit there as well. Hopefully our redesigned monorail transport will um, fix a lot of that. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Is the weather still on? Uh, no, it's not. No, I'll turn it on. Okay. Love that nighttime spice. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? It's alright. It's nice. Cool. 
Cool. Yeah, I think I'm happy. I think I am happy. Um, so the other thing I wanted to do today, uh, what's abandoned over here? A little bit of naturally placed industrial spice, well that's fine. You are sick, I'm guessing you're too close to the metro state, the monorail station, right? Yeah, you guys are all way too close. That's why. Let's get rid of these. You as well. Cool. Got Nick Talent with a tenuous dollar super chat. Hey, uh, go ahead and catch the stream. Keep up the awesome build. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, I absolutely will. And I uh, really appreciate that support, buddy. Thank you. Very generous of you. Uh, right, okay. What are we doing with this area? So let's remove all the trees. And uh, have a little discussion about how things are going to lie here. Um, so if I terraform this, it's going to get... It's really going to bottleneck the water, which I'm not... Let's give it a little save, actually, just in case. Just in case this goes tits up, let's um, let's give it a save. Okay, let's terraform that a little. It's a tiny, tiny bit. Let's give ourselves... Touch my breathing room. We also have key to breathe under here as well. Does the speed slider mod work for you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, slows everything down if you move it around, yeah. I actually like playing on 70%. I find it a little more of a realistic speed. Or 75. No one's doing zoomies then. Uh, okay. So when... Uh, how much of an effort is it going to be to rip out that trust bridge to bring the key through? Hopefully, <laughs> this doesn't go badly wrong. Go back and get all this back in. We'll see. All right, yeah, let's come off road length for this as well. Okay, and then hopefully just hook in here. And please go back in normally. <laughs> please go back in. I don't want to have to spend the next three hours trying to fix this. Um, just come up by an elevator set. Just put anarchy on. Oh, yes. Wouldn't it be good if we had anarchy? Is that enough headroom to walk? Not even a little bit, but that's the elevation of the bridge, so we are living with it. Just pretend you didn't see that. Let's bring this up as well. On smaller step. A little bit more. Cool. Nice. Alright, so let's delete the monorail station and then take away the line. And then... Just bring out... A nice road. About there. This is going to be too small for a monorail, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Can't get the one in with road. Mm, I don't really like just the random arterial road there, though. That looks a little bit weird. Okay, let's play with this idea. I really don't like the way the road network is. A, I think, you know what, let's just rip it out. Let's just rework this all because this is changing now. Hopefully for the better. Okay, could never play without anarchy again, to be fair. Yeah, I'm kind of gotten used to anarchy. <laughs> In five builders and it's, it's tough going back to it without it. Okay, so we're not going to connect this road here. We're not going to connect this road. Let's come on to road guideline. Now we will lose a couple of our repeated patterns, but I think that's going to be okay. We can just trim it all up to this space instead and end it here. And then allow what is now more important road infrastructure to take over. Okay. Let's uh, take it all off. 
Okay. Gotta go, guys. Time to drive home. Have a safe journey, mate. I'll uh, speak to you tonight at some point, I imagine. Would I like to keep it elevated all the way, I wonder? It does give us a much higher density kind of infrastructure vibe if the bridge remains elevated. You could thread the other road underneath and then join it in from behind. Yeah, we could. Yeah, I think we'll do that actually. So let's just elevate this entire road. From this point. So we'll want to come on to about... Three elevation steps. And then let's bring this over. So this should be tall enough. Let's just bring this road through as an example to make sure that we can still clear our respective heights. Okay, so we can clear from that height as well. Okay. Ideas are development. And um, let's bring this road down a little bit further as well. And then probably the bridge too, with no road guideline. And then maybe a little bit of road guideline now as we come back down. Come down one step here. And then bring it in. Okay, I like that a lot better. And then we can probably bring in um, some monorail against bridge action here as well. Um, let's come on to everything. Well, no snapping at all here, actually. And then if we were to place in monorail here, how do we feel about it elevated next to a bridge? It wants flipping on its orientation though, doesn't it? It wants like placing here, if you know what I mean. So let's uh, see if we can do that. Let's try and give it a little more room. We can even go a tile shorter than that, actually. We have the space to breathe. It's three tiles deep. Yeah, okay, I think that's what we want. Yeah, I think that's a give us a lot more kind of nicer transport designs as well if we're coming over and then running the road parallel with the monorail. Okay, so this definitely needs a road connection, which hopefully we can provide. Into there. Let's make it a nicer road though. Is it trees here at the front? Yes, it is, isn't it? Let's stick to trees then. Okay, let's drag the monorail stop in. And then stop here as well. The junk in the monorail will drive you crazy, will it? This little bit here. Is this getting to you? <laughs> I don't know how many people. I don't know how many people that's affecting. Pod if it is. Okay, should we work all this now as well? And no zonings here. And then delete it here too. And then we can probably just align everything with this junction now. So we'll go for the large avenue with grass on road guideline. And then yes here. Like that. Maybe some park here as well. OK, 
Can we still clear with word here? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay. So we'll now want a fairly heavy decorated path system to link people back into with tram and monorail. So let's go for no guideline. And we'll probably upgrade this in some nice apart paths once we have the initial structure in. Bring it down to here as well. And then let's just follow the curve of the bridge with the pathway if we can. A little bit like that. Then maybe some... No, I think we'll go for regular pavement then. Working with a very awkward space here. I definitely like the kind of curved bridge as it elevates over the canal and the, and the rail. Probably also to start encouraging some people to use uh, the keys down this way as well. Probably help this to fit in a lot easier if we just extend um, this parkland out here, which isn't actually connected. You guys, <laughs> these guys just been stranded. Oh no, there's a connection there. Yeah, they can get back into. Okay. Um. All right, this is um a good spot. For, oh no, 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 <laughs> no! Don't do that. Please go in. Are we okay? There we go, that's fine. Uh, a nice spot for an elevated walking path to follow over here as well from the park. Nope, <laughs> not like that, not like that at all. Um, okay, let's snap the road guideline then of the tram system and then road link too. And then let's have a little look where we want to snap to. That's about the same height, is it? Looks to be. And we want to go up one more elevation step from that point now. No, down one. We will get it right eventually, guys. God, I do mismove it. I mismove it horrifically <laughs> when I'm not in five builders. Oh, who's looking forward to the next city, everyone? And we have mods. It's going to an angle snap here as well. Okay. And can we come over this one? Yes, we can. And then we'll come down into it as well. Nice. Now we have this aligned. It should just be a simple case of road length and angle snap. Not like that. Cool. So we'll see how much use that gets. And I've been lost our connection into the keys now as well. Let's redo that with some regular vanilla path. Okay, we'll see the game on three speed and just see how much foot traffic this little system attracts now. Because you've also got to bear in mind, now they have this road connection here, they're also hooked into minor square transport hub as well. So it's like essentially an extension of that transport hub. Yeah, some people are picking it up now. Yeah, lots of people love switching from tram to monorail here. No one cares for the walkable seawalls down this end. Oh, yes they do. <laughs> immediately, immediately jinxing it. 
Okay, let's uh, work on some decoration patterns. I definitely want some conifers around here. Let's come to our prop line too. Well, 144 people here. Welcome to the stream, guys. We've all had a wonderful week. And I'm uh, looking forward to some Navaria. Maybe between here as well. Is there anything? It is snowing. And I've got a little quadruple of elevated infrastructure, and this is very satisfying. I like this. See how we're looking from the nighttime perspective. Let's get some of these walking people in as well. There we go. It's not bad. Okay, um, there's a space here that wants something. How are we doing for schools and whatnot? Yeah, we're okay. Maybe we're doing another library over here. And it does centralise. Kind of feels like a weird place for a library, though. I won't lie. We want to bury one until Christmas. Um, probably. Palavan took, like, what, 15 months to finish? So, Navaria only started in May. So, yeah, yeah, probably. Probably go there. Um, what about a university building? Mm, I don't think over here... Media Lab would fit though. Yeah, I think maybe do just run with the library. Bring some pathways underneath it too. Just to create a whole little cute walking junction here. Okay. Have we had any elevated zoo plots in the area? Can't picture what they're like in the snow. Um yes, we have. They are somewhere. <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is an elevated zoo path in the snow. They're not too bad. It's nice enough. It's nice enough, I think, isn't it? Okay, let's bring our pathways up again. Hook in with the back of our library friends. And, uh, where's that pillar? Can we just come out underneath this? Yes, we can. Cool. Let's decorate this little junction now here as well, perhaps with uh, a couple of splashes of nature reserve fence. I think I'll go down a tree. Okay. Or Palavan Pines as well, maybe. Either side of the walking pathway. And perhaps some smaller bushes around the back of these fences. Even a little bit of part life detail in here if we want to get really anal about it. Just throw in an old classic bench sign and you combo. This one. Alright. Yeah, there are a few people. Well, one old lady taking the walkable sea walkies, which is good. But otherwise, I think this is a much more effective use of the space. Traffic's certainly cleared up as well. Uh, we'll want to rework the, how the path sits here, though, either side of the tram network. Um, so let's go for... I think I'm happy to continually use vanilla pavement path here. And then we can just create some simple boxes. Let's go for just some commercial zone in there. And then we'll just bring in some nice boxed in 
uh, tree patterns with park fence here. Should be alright. We'll come off our angle snap. Onto free form. Follow the curve. And then back up. Probably do the same there as well. Okay, a little bit of base overgrowth. And then just move through our tree sizes. A couple of smaller ones. Oh no, not those. And the little bushes. Maybe a touch of bamboo as well. Says the hungry panda. And then a conifer to polish off. Okay. I think I'm actually a little bit keen to remove all of the commercial from this design here now and continue to run with straight vanilla path patterns instead. Got to run now. Have a great stream. Thank you, Sunken Ship. Appreciate the support. And if you guys haven't checked out Sunken Ship on YouTube as well, make sure you do. Oh, this isn't connected. When did I delete that? <laughs> when did that get deleted? <laughs> Uh, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Sunken Ship on YouTube, you should make some good videos. Uh, including a very informative video on the new uh, car park snapping. So if you're a modded player, go check out Sunken Ship. Okay, yeah. So this is going to be quite gardeny overkill. But I think once it's in, it'll give us quite a nice kind of gardeny plaza vibe. We'll see. Maybe something in there just to break it up. Maybe a sledding hill, which won't fit. Or a nice sculpture part, maybe. No, not there at all. Got to head off, thank you for the stream. Megan all, no worries, JJ. Thank you for stopping by, mate. Appreciate the support. Um, some different tourism. Plaza. Part life asset maybe. maybe a little gazebo or a playground cafe yeah yeah I think just a couple of part life assets and then we can surround this again now with more fencing of course Hopefully we're not too tight in here to box in the part life assets. We should be okay. Oh come on! <laughs> you know you want to. okay. We'll we'll just use the back of the um the cafe as the fence then. Okay, bring them in there. Maybe actually, maybe maybe maybe. Yeah, let's do that. That's a little... Yeah, okay. And then we'll fill it out with tiles and then just make like a classic extension. Um, which I think would be quite a nice place to sit if like they're all surrounded by this little forest. I think it'd be quite a nice vibe. Let's see how it comes together. Bathroom part out are great suggestions, Joey. Great minds, right? And then up here as well. Got some tables out the back. Bin two. Okay, I definitely want some lights here as well. This will be dark as hell at night time. Possibly in here as well. And then bring some overgrowth through. And then the same approach with that bushes also. A little bit spilling through to the pathway, but I think we can I think we can bear with it. And we have palavan pines here, not really. Let's just stick with the usual Navarian palette then. And then one there.
Okay, I think I can get on board with that as a kind of nicer way to decorate up a public transport um, interchange. Some very kind of heavily boxed in gardens. I don't think it's too bad, right? Hey, I hope you're well, pal. Not too bad, Nomad. How are you, mate? How are you? Welcome to the stream. Got 151 people here. Welcome to the stream, guys. I uh, hope you're okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess we need snow dumps. Oh, dear. Um, okay. Let's throw down some snow dumps somewhere. I think I keep deleting them, don't I? When I come to a new build. Let's throw some over here as well. There you go. What did I miss? Um, we've redeveloped the repeated green cities pattern um, into kind of an open media plaza, which still needs decorating. Um, out here using a media broadcast building, the TV station and the shopping centre with some more organic looking green cities high res. Um, we structured the bridge and the rail to kind of fit more appealingly and we're currently just finishing off um, the redesigned uh, monorail and tram switch point, which is nice. Okay, I feel about night time to be around here. Yeah, it's nicer, isn't it? It's nicer. Have a quick sip of the old drink here, guys. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Cool. Nighttime skyline's definitely developing now, isn't it? I think once we bring it out here a little bit more, and all these little holes here are just kind of filled in, we'll uh, begin to appreciate our nighttime skyline a little bit more. Okay. Nice. Let's continue moving around over here. So I think we'll delete these residentials there. They look a little bit random now. Um, and then how about we take our plaza in a similar style to what we just did with the transport hub with the very heavily boxed in gardens. I think we can get away with it in the downtown. And this is very Manchester inspired. If anyone's ever been to Piccadilly Gardens, um, which funnily enough is a large tram interchange in Manchester, um, you'll kind of see what I'm taking inspiration from here. How the kind of public transport sits centrally and then there's lots of kind of landscaped garden and open breathing air right in the middle of the city. Um, you'll know what I'm talking about. Navarius come far. It really has, hasn't it? It really has. It took me a while to get into Navaria, you know. Um, I think I didn't really start properly enjoying it until we started the University of Technology. Which isn't even called a University of Technology. It's a trade school, isn't it? <laughs> I've been calling it wrong. Um, but yeah, it took me a while to get into it. I think just coming off the high, that was Palavan. And I was just so in love with that city. I was like, ugh. Every, everything I did, I was just comparing it to Palavan Light. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. Okay, we're getting a little bit of jank with the corners here. Let's see if we can fix this. There we go. That's fine. But I hope you guys are enjoying Palavan, uh, Novaria, more importantly. Uh, you are the ones that watch it. We did put out a poll on the channel the other day as well, just to see how the community was feeling about a snow map. Was there were some initial reservations um, when we first kind of announced the snow map. I think most of you are enjoying it. I think a lot of people watch me for build inspiration anyway, as opposed to kind of city design and core design. So you can still take the themes and the ideas that we use in the area, right? Okay, along with the creativity, Exodus maps are so much nicer than the vanilla snow maps. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't run with the vanilla Frozen Shire. Um, I'm glad that we had Exy remaster it because it's nowhere near as nice a map to build on. Okay, great series. Enjoyed it very much. Good, glad to hear, guys. Glad to hear. 
Let's bring some lights into here as well, of course. And it'll illuminate all these little tram gardens or metro gardens, I guess they are, right? Can you add a food truck next to the media coven? Yeah. Of course we can. Little hot dog one. Like that. Okay. This is turning out quite nicely now. I'm enjoying this. How many people use the metro now? Uh, 197 in a week, but there's tons of people waiting on the platforms. Um, yeah, this is metro, isn't it? Metro is by far and away the most popular method of transport in the city. And the busiest lying being, yeah, the, the downtown line is the busiest. By a huge way. <laughs> yeah, super busy. This probably wants another method of public transport alongside it to support it, to be fair. Maybe add one more car on. Yeah, people love Metro. It's just good for getting around long distances. This Metro, it stops at like three pretty heavy public transport hubs as well. Like it's stopping here. So it picks up intercity people um, and train people as well, because these are intercity trains. It then goes through the city picking up more. And it then stops at Minot Square where it picks up with Overground Metro and soon to be Monorail. Plus the trams uh, from two different tram lines. And then through here and then into the downtown transport hub, which is um, just insanely busy anyway. So it's just a mad busy metro line. It just passes through so much infrastructure. It's good that it's busy though. It is good. Okay. Would snowmen eat cold hot dogs? Um, don't know. Wasn't expecting. To, <laughs> wasn't expecting to be asked that question tonight. Um, possibly. If they can have a carrot for a nose, then I guess they could have a hot dog for a nose as well, right? Gives it a slightly different vibe, though, if it's a hot dog over a carrot. Takes it a little more out of the PG zone, I think, doesn't it? If you use a hot dog for a snowman's nose. Those just joining the stream, welcome. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about. Okay. Couple of Parliament Pints around here as well. I think we all appreciate the aesthetic of a Palavan Pine with Green City's residential, don't we? Okay. Uh, what's happening here? We do have some awkward spaces threatening to develop. Okay. Are we going over the top with the fence gardens? I think I'm getting away with it. I think it's alright. I think we'll do one more through here as well, where we have the awkward road pattern. Um, do you guys want services? You don't really have a med clinic. Get a childcare center in. Maybe here. Okay. Could probably do with elder care over here too. These guys want elder care. Do you want childcare too? You've just been placed one, so you should be okay. Uh, where's my little med clinic? Will you sit here? No. Okay. The Parliament Pines are kind of moving out of invasive species into extreme, <laughs> into extremely dominant. That, that That's true, but isn't that what um, invasive species do? They throw out the, um, the home species, or the native species rather. Not home species, it's not a football match. <laughs> it's not like home and away. But yeah, maybe in like certain parts of Novaria, the uh, Parliament Pines have become a little more dominant, forcing out the native Novaria Nuttall tree, was it? I think we called it in the end. Can't remember. It clearly didn't stick as well as Parliament Pine did. Alright. Cool. 
Oh. All right. I don't hate it, and that's usually a good sign, right? That's usually good when that happens. Uh, do we want to connect you through? Probably a wise idea if you were. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Hey, Space Cat, welcome to the stream. What did you miss? Loads, mate. Just uh, watch the stream back. Not explaining it again. Let's come into some of these trees as well. Flush out this park. Around the edge. Okay. How much time is left? Um, what are we on now? Uh, we're on an hour and 30, probably about another half an hour or so. I try to keep the streams in around two hours because when they go to like two and a half to three hours and over, um, the people that watch the streams back as VODs, the, the watch time goes through the floor um, after like two hours. People just don't stick around for that long, so... I try to stick to like an hour and a half to two, two and a half hours, something like that. Okay. Um, so this walking pathway here, it would be nice if we can hook this into the new uh, monorail um, tram switch point, which we shouldn't really have that much of an issue bringing this over. We should be okay. Let's elevate slightly before this actually. Let's come to like here. No road length either. Live stream people and bother people. Exactly, Lands. Exactly, Lands knows. Um, yeah, if you guys want longer live streams, then you have to convince the VOD people to watch them for longer. All right. <laughs> you want to take on that responsibility? That looks hideous. Do we want a free form? Maybe come down here. Is that possible? Yes, it is. I think it wants some fence in there just to help secure the vibe. Can we get away with that dimensional touring? Have you checked out High Rise City? <laughs> Funny you should mention that, Seth. Um, yes, I did check it out about an hour ago. Yeah. Yeah, I have checked it out. That's weird, isn't it, Lance? <laughs> That's super weird. Speaking to Lance about it today. Yeah. Okay. We'll turn this into rocky, overgrown area now. Because we're not going to have anything built here. So we'll just flush it out with a little bit of kind of base bedrock. Oops. Not that. Okay. Touch of the old Varian Forest as well, I think. He says with no trees going through. There we go. Cool. Much happier with this area now. I don't really like the way the key just abruptly, abruptly end like that. I'd rather like the little barrier come around the side if you stop joining a key. That would be a nice quality of life improvement, but... Can't have everything, right? Java start with a thirteen ninety nine Canadian dollar super chat. Thank you so much, uh, Java. Uh, hello to you as well, buddy. Really appreciate the support. Oh, something's abandoned. Oh, this is the guy that didn't have enough goods to sell, wasn't it? That's fine. Just go away. Uh, do you have a playlist for past VODs? Uh, they're all in the the uh, Navaria playlist, uh, Mary. And same for the Palavan live streams as well. They're all in the respective playlist of the city that they're in. So for those that are watching the series back, they have kind of a continual flow between videos and live streams. Okay. I think we're sort of done with this area now. I'm happy with the redesign. It's a much more complementary design to that skyline too. Um, I think we will have a little discussion about 
this area over here. So during this episode, I mentioned I want to leave a lot of this open um, for a bridge interchange to happen. Which I think we will do. See you later, Ver Veronica. <laughs> Such an awkward name to pronounce. Thank you for stopping by the stream. Really appreciate it. Okay. So I was possibly toying with the idea of having um, the Grand Library over here um, during the episode, which is this one. Doing some kind of nice centralised waterfront library design here. That massive archway works nicely with this asset as well, didn't it? This one. Right there. If the road wasn't in the way. I wonder where we're going to put this. Um, in terms of, I think, I'll tell you what, I think what we'll do is we'll throw up a poll here. So I'm going to throw a little poll in the chat, guys. So on the opposite side of the river. Repeat the modern city centre commercial pattern. Or something entirely different. Stick your vote on the poll and then... Um, let me know. So what I'm referring to this little um, 3 by 3 block of uh, city centre assets here. Bear in mind the effect it will have on the river as well. Looking down this line, you'll have this repeated on both sides. I think we probably will repeat it. Oh, this is bloody upgraded again. <laughs> I am not historically in the buildings. What a noob. I've become addicted to watching City Skylines. Gameplays and yours are my favourite. Please do the good work. Thank you, David. Appreciate the support, mate. And, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the videos. Thank you. Okay. Arch makes me think of my hometown, St. Louis. Yeah, it does. It does. How are people voting? Is the yes repeat or no? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> oh yeah. That was ridiculous. Sorry guys, my apologies. That part makes no sense, does it? Hold on. That's uh <laughs> That's hilarious, my apologies. Oh I can't do another poll now. You know what? Just 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 put it in the chat. Repeat the pattern, yes or no. There we go. Right, hold on, let me throw up another poll. <laughs> Sorry. That was totally my fault. Ignore that. Um, opposite side of the river. MCC. <laughs> yes or no? It's like, would you like more or less of this? Yes. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. Um, opposite side of the river. MCC pattern. Oh, something different. Sorry, guys. It's Sunday. I've been up to like 6 30 making 5B videos. Just give me a break. <laughs> All right. Um, so, MCC, um, or something different, alright, now you can vote, sorry about that, <laughs> um, yeah, so maybe pairing the Grand Library and uh, the, the archway as some kind of nice riverfront design here to merge away from uh, this modern city centre, which is bloody upgraded here again. Hopefully that's the last of them now. Uh, before we move into a bridge interchange. Which should be a fun build. Need to rework the ring road through here as well. Which I think we might do. I think we might do. Mm. 
How's the poll doing? Something different, interesting. I thought you guys would have wanted the um, symmetry of the side of the river. Okay. Do you have any leisure districts here? Uh, yes, we do. There's a leisure spot right here. Okay. All right. Does it elevate the road of any traffic? Yeah, it feels a bit abundant. Um, yeah, it gets a few. Once people start giving more connections on and off from it, it'll start getting busier. Yeah, there's a few folks that just feed down it. Yeah, it's just a nice little service way. Hey, Magazine, welcome to the stream, mate. Okay. Any plans to use the old market station train asset? Um, not at the minute, no. We could use it over here and develop maybe. Ooh, is that what we put over here then? Let's do some initial testing. Um, what distance are we from the pathways? This is going to be a nightmare to get symmetrical. 240. So we are there. So if we had a little test. Right, where's the center point here? Yeah, we could drop in the old please centralize. Oh, it does as well. Maybe develop some small European vibes. That is so nice. How satisfying is that? Where does the symmetry stop? There we go. Maybe a Brooklyn inspired theme on the side of the river. Yeah, that's not a bad idea, Badger. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some old Market Street vibes and get kind of an older part of the city here. A few European assets. We could even tear it if we wanted to. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe over there we'll start to factor in the old Market Street station. I think that's going to be a fairly sensible shout. Okay, but I think next episode on Tuesday we're going to build the transport hub uh, and continue to expand the skyline out this way. Because you see all these people that are arriving in the transport hub and then driving. We don't want this. We want them to be taking trams and stuff. So we're probably having a tram network over here. Um, they're all driving, which isn't what we want. Uh, yeah, but I think that's going to be probably a good place to leave the stream there. We've kind of run out of jobs to do now. And um, we'll wait for uh, Tuesday to work on the transport hub. So let's pop on our little light time view. And uh, we'll go and say uh, goodbye. Yeah, definitely feeling some kind of older European vibes here, though. That's uh, that's going to be good. Um, okay, let's uh, chuck someone a host uh, before we finish up. Let's see who's streaming City Skylines. Uh, let's have a look who's live. Uh, Phoenix Studio is what we hosted in last week, so... What about this guy? I think I just anarchy yeah, okay, let's go throw time travel astronaut at host, guys. As always, go throw hello people in his live chat. And I go and show support to another smaller content creator. But otherwise, I'm going to leave the stream there. And I thank you all so much for watching. We will build Novaria's Transport Hub on Tuesday. And then, of course, there will be various videos throughout the week, as always. Thank you very much for modding, mods, lands, mugs, and Jane. And DMs here as well. Really appreciate it. And for all the regulars and the super chats again tonight. Uh, really, really good. Super appreciate it. Uh, very generous, as always. And yes, I'll speak to you all soon. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day.